Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Dog the Bounty Hunter fought back tears multiple times during his late wife Beth Chapman's memorial service in Colorado. I can't believe that she's gone, he said on stage at the Heritage Christian Center in Aurora during his nearly 30 minutes remark which was also filled with laughter and fond memories. This is not possible, I want to wake up from a dream. The Chapman patriarch, who wore a pink shirt in honor of his beloved partner, added, In the 70s, I did 18 months in the Texas penitentiary, and I told God yesterday I would do 5 years, 10 years, day to day, just to kiss her again. I never felt like this. Beth, who battled a stage 2 throat cancer diagnosis, died on June 26 at the age of 51. She will never be dead to me. She is in another place. Doc said, I am going to get to heaven and make her so proud. She's gonna say like she said here, that's my man right there, that's big daddy right there. She'd go and sick, they told her she got cancer. They said she could do chemo though. They said she would have to sit at home while Doc films the show. The show didn't kill her, but she died for it, said Doc, who called Beth the angelic drone in the air now. She said, do you think I'm going to let you go out by yourself and film this TV show? You're out of your mind. I said, honey, you might have to do chemo and stuff. Dog recalled. She goes, all it'll do is keep me alive six months longer and I'm not going to do that because I want to be by your side. She would tell these guys on the show, you are trying to die doing these drugs and I'm trying to live. Those guys started bawling and crying, he continued. Dog also became emotional when he recalled one of his last conversations with Beth. She lost a load of weight. She was down to 119 pounds. She said, please big daddy, please let me go. I said no. I can't. I'm not gonna let you go. I still haven't let her go. He said later adding, if there's a goat, he won't let me live that long without her. Speaking about Beth's clothes and belongings, Stoke said some were going to be split among their daughters. However, he made sure his late five's things were exactly where she had left them. I walked through the closet the other day and I smell her. He tearfully said, then this morning I could smell her. I said, is it okay if I keep the closet like that? He shared before adding that a loved one had responded. Until you die, that closet is staying the same. What are your thoughts? Do tell us in the comments below. Like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.